Hi, uh, Brad Bolt with the AmeriGuard Insurance Agency. I just wanted to take a minute and make a video on uh, kind of explaining the home insurance declaration page because we get a lot of questions on what these coverages actually mean. A lot of people take out their home insurance and really don't understand um, what the different aspects of the home insurance uh, policy are. So I'm going to bring up um, a quote that I have here. Of course, I'm going to gray out the names. This policy is with Nationwide Insurance. And really the most important coverage is this dwelling coverage, which is commonly referred to as coverage A. And this is the amount that the uh, home insurance carrier believes it will cost to replace your home. Um, in this example, it is 573000 So that's the amount that Nationwide believes it will cost to replace your home from the ground up. Um, many of the home insurance coverages stem from this coverage A limit. Um, this other structures, which would be something like a detached garage or a uh, fence, shed, something of that nature, is 10% of this coverage A limit. So in this case, $57,000. Um, the personal property limit is also a percentage of coverage A. It's usually somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 or 75% of the coverage A limit. In this case, it's $430,000. Um, loss of use, which is a coverage that um, if your home is damaged and you're unable to stay in your home, you have this set aside limit to find alternative housing while your home is repaired or rebuilt. Um, this is not a coverage limit. It's, it says actual uh, loss sustained, which means that if you're able to have to stay in an apartment, whatever that costs you to do for a, a year or the time that your home is repaired or rebuilt, um, that is the coverage that uh, Nationwide will pay for that loss of use coverage. Personal liability, very important coverage. Uh, we set this at a minimum of 500000 This is a limit that is set aside um, in case you are going to be sued if someone is injured on your property or if uh, a member of your household um, damages someone else's property or injures someone um, and you're going to be sued in that way. Um, so that limit is set at 500000 Medical limits is uh, set at 5,000. This means that if someone's injured on your property and that injured person wants you to pay for the medical damages, you have $5,000 set aside for that. Um, deductible, very important um, piece of the homeowner's policy. And this is the amount that you pay first before the insurance company makes a payment. Most common is 1,000. You do have to be mindful of a potential wind and hail deductible that a lot of insurance companies will use. Um, it might be a percentage of this coverage A, or it could be 5,000. Um, you you want to be aware that there is a separate deductible um, in case you're not um, it, uh, in case you get hit by say a hailstorm and all of a sudden you have to pay $5,000, which is going to um, cut into a large cost of what it costs to replace that roof. Um, so that is something more common than insurance companies are, are changing their policy to. Um, these are all considered kind of secondary coverages on the insurance policy. Uh, common is jewelry. Um, this is a limit we commonly have to increase. Um, you know, for uh, damage to trees and shrubs, um, that's somewhat common. Um, and um, here is another limit that we like to pay attention to, water and sewer backup coverage here set at 25000 If you have a backup in, uh, say, your basement, and you have to have a restoration company come out, um, this is the amount that you have to uh, maybe replace your carpet, sheetrock, dry out your basement, uh, prevent from mold, that sort of thing. Uh, this was just a very basic overview of the home insurance policy. I will also be doing one on the car insurance. Uh, please leave a comment uh, down below with any questions that you might have. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.